everything about the brush, which is I already talked in the past a couple of times, the different type of uh, a hair or feather that all will affect our writing. However, how can we know which uh, hardness and how soft the, the brush that we can use and write on what type of a, and a style of a calligraphy, which is, for now, I don't believe you will have enough knowledge to know, but I can share. Normally, what I try to say, if you're doing something like the Lee shoe now that we are practicing, that uh, the, uh, the hand, for the handwriting, the Lee shoe like that, so we can use the uh, a big pardon kind of pen, or mixed with different feathers, so that will be good because they are not too soft, not too hard. If it's too hard, meaning when you press down, the hair, it won't, bang, uh, it won't, uh, if too hard, it bounce back right away. It won't follow. But if it's too soft, you press down, and it will stay the same shape, which is also no good for you to control. So what kind of hair they will have that hardness and soft. Normally, the, the hair for the ship, the ship, ship, right, ship, yeah, are very soft. Uh, normally, they look like very white. Uh, Bruce, do you have the one? Yeah. Bruce, just for this one. This one is ship, yang hao, all white hair. Mm -hmm. So this is very soft. When you press down, it won't come back up, it won't bounce back. But the hard one, like the wolf or uh, the white rabbit hair, it will come back up almost like straight, so so hard. Mm -hmm. So different type of character, different type of style, so you have to know. So if you have mixed with this one and this one, so normally the heart with the wolf or the white rabbit, they put in the middle. So proportionally, either 50, 50, 30, 70, 40, 60, like that. So mm -hmm. that's how you make your own brush. In the old day, thousand years ago, all the specialists, they know how to make brush. They do it by, at home, by itself. Mm -hmm. But right now, not many people are willing to do that, and it's not worth a lot of people to do that. I talked to one of the manufacturers in China, so I'm going to give them my proportionate my proportional uh, percentage mixed, so hopefully they give me a good price, I can make 100 or 200. Different size, different length. So that way it's good for our hand to use. Okay, I'm working on that one. So right now I want everyone to know. So for small font like this, so you need the hard, hardness here. But for a big word like this, Sometimes the mixed one is better. If too soft, it's not that easy. But you want to hold, make sure that they hold ink in, in the middle. Otherwise, one stroke, no more ink for the second one. So this is all important. And different type of hair also have different structure of the hair. Why? Each hair, we might not able to see it. But if you use a microscope, enlarge it, you will see each hair, they have a little bit of like Chip, 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 like that. Very, very tiny. But each of those, they can hold the, the ink. That's why the very good brush, they can cost you a few hundred dollars. The most expensive way now I heard from mainland China, they're talking about $10,000 China money. But you know, if a good, good brush, they cannot get more than 20 of good hair from one ship. So that's why it's not a good brush, it's not easy to find. And I hope I can do something with the manufacturer soon. Because I a lot of brush that I have, I have about 100 at home, but not many of them good for me. <laughs> because some of them that was bought a big volume with my late father long ago, and none of them were very good, not many of them are good. So that's why I want everyone to know the brush is very important.
and in the uh, the note that I sent to everyone through WhatsApp. So I, I wish that you have time to take a look and they send me a question that uh, if you have any question about, then I can explain to you. About next one, I will talk about the paper again and then the ink. Now uh, everyone is lucky because you don't have to use the, the ink stick and then you run your own ink. But actually, supposed to be doing that because that will, the ink will shine after you write on the piece of the paper, very shine and it will last, the color will not uh, change much and very, uh, make it look much better. <laughs> and still, you can see the same similar challenge for everyone. Let's talk about the uh, horizontal long stroke. I'm going to do uh, the uh, outline, okay? Here's the outline, and here the center. So when you're doing the outline in your mind, you need to have a keep the, the, the repeat, have a picture to see the center line. Now the kind of paper that you have, I get you more. Whoever well, give me a one that with the center line. No, that right now. I borrow a boost this oh you have one for center line. Okay. You see? The center line is more solid. It's not perforated, it's not dark. That dark, right. So using the center line to judge where to start your stroke. When you look at the paper in your mind, your brain, you need to have the center line. And then you ask yourself, how big the character you want to do? Then you start. If you want to do a small font like this, Then the center line is here. Then you want to start the stroke. It's not all the way. Normally, the whole character only occupy maximum about like probably 50% of the whole area. If you occupy 60, 70, so cloud, you need to leave some space. So if that is the case, if I want to write, for example, uh, Anson, Hula the Fool. So I start here, and then I start here, the stroke, and then the, ver the vertical, and the mouth. So I will do it this way, and this up, and then slowly come down here, vertical, and then the mouth. Then you think yourself, then you know how to how how wide, right? So this is the big outline. So I'm gonna draw let you know how to start. You start from the top, look at the arrow pointed. So come down here and then you reverse up. Then when you reverse up, you press upward, then the pressure, the pressure will forcing the ink and the brush stay on upward this area. And then you lift up and try to move the direction of the brush in the center. Then you move. When you start lift up and move, 
Remember, only three actions when we're doing cal uh, the calligraphy. Press, lift, and movement. So when you do the movement, it's the time your brain needs to calibrate to tell yourself how much I want to lift up and how far I need to move forward and until the next press down. So you start lightly, go downward, reverse, press upward, and then return, lift the parts, return to the center, move. Yo, so you, when you move, do the movement, you need to slowly, eventually, gradually lift up the pen, the brush from heavy, because here is heavy. And then when, don't lift up too high, too much. You need to control the pressure. So slowly you can see, gradually, from heavy to light in the center light. And then once you pass the center line, you start press down a little bit, press down a little bit. You don't need to go downward because when you press down the brush on the bottom, it will occupy the bottom one. Uh, and then up to the bottom, then you know you don't have a lot of room to keep continue. Then you need to lift up the brush, move upward, but twist the brush a little bit, and then it will turn to the duck tail. That's how it goes. But when you to go to the top, you don't just let it go like this all the way. You need to come here, hold back, and do a little bit reverse. So that you can stop. Otherwise, you will keep continuing like the fly all the way. Cannot stop. Okay? So I'm using the big brush to do it the way I just explained. Again. And all this movement is very practical. It's not a lot of, don't have a lot of trick. All you need to practice and make your hand, your brain, to control when you need to move up, when you need to press down, and how far you need to go. So I'm doing another outlining here. and I'm using the brush to do it, okay? Now, I press down, I, slot, I start light down here, and then I reverse, I press upward. I have to press down this way, so everyone can see, upward that way. And then I lift up the brush, I come to the center, you see, I come to the center. Why I need to come to center? If you don't, adjust the direction, the brush will continue and upward. It will not carry the way the result was. So once you press upward, and then you press down, when you press down, you lift up the brush, move to the center. Now you see all the brush are pointed to the center of the stroke. Then I move, I, actually I, I push, I push from left, to right, and then when I press, I move, I lift up the brush a little bit, control, see how far I need to go, and then when I pass the center, I slowly press and press and press harder, almost to the end. You see? When I put down to the end here, then I know it's the time for me to the start move upward, but I twisting the brush so I can get the duck tail shape, and then I come back. Okay, otherwise you will not able to do if you don't follow this a guideline, you will not get it. Of course, my brush is so small, so I can not fill up. But the brush can do this. Well. Let me do my the other side of it. That was a good question that I was going to answer. That 
and they asked me before. Reverse a touchdown, the brush upward of the machine. Okay, and then I lift up, move to the center, then I move my brush. And then while I move, I, I slowly lift up the brush a little bit, continue move up. When I pass in the center, I start touch adding force to the brush, down to the almost the end. Okay. Now to the bottom. Then I press it down. Then I need to lift up. I twist the brush. When I lift up, I twist it. I twist it. Twist it to the point, the higher point, and then return it this way. Okay. But it seems you need to practice. So what I try to ask now. At home, using a pen or pencil. So all you need to do to do it this way. You a pencil, so you know that you need the movement. So when you get used to, when you start using the brush, and when you're using the brush, go like this, this go like this, and then move up down and press up. That's it. Okay, now the same thing here. Start with the top down here. I press upward. Okay, when I press upward, I move my brush to the center and I move. When I move, I lift up slowly, not too much, not lift up too high. Come down and then I press down, press hard because you want the ball, the end, the, the layer point to be happy. Then you t twist, you see, I twist, I twist my brush. Come back. Okay, now this is one. Another one is the hook. The hook. A lot of us doing good job. Strict, come down, but turn still good. But one we turn to the end, go like this. Cannot control. No, you always the same thing. You need to control. Don't let the force, the momentum keep go all the way. So you need to do strict down. Turn, turn, just a little bit. So the movement is like this. I outline, come down, okay? You don't have to hook all the way, you can do it this way. But still, you need to have a little bit of reverse. That means you can control. Unlike this one, you go all the way. Uh, we call, you slip, you cannot control. Now, another one is the dot. The right dot. The right dot, I saw some of us pointed. Here point. He also pointed. No, to do the same thing, that you need to go from bottom up, then come back down, and then like circle. It's an oval. So what you can do is like the oval shape like this. Okay, so what you need to do is go up, down, return. So this is the, the, the right thought, and also 
the left dot and the right dot. A lot of right dot is more a bit lengthy down, small in the bottom. So what you need to do is go this way, come down, hold that. So what? How to do that? Up, press down. Okay. Press down. Come to up. Hold that. That's it. What other? Okay. One character that I can say every single of us is not doing the right because the shape is not right. This one. Let me see. Do it here. Let's go. I just. Right? This one, a lot of us not doing right. Make this one is too lengthy. Go like this way. And then here is too short. And you can see it. That means this is off size. It's no good. It, as a human being, our waist and body is so lengthy and the, the, the foot is so short. No good. This is a very tough how to structure and make it look proportionate ear width. So because very bulky on the body. So you need to how to make it look good. So that means the top one cannot be too lengthy, and, but you cannot make it too wide. If you're going too wide like this, also no good. So again, my recommendation, before you practice on paper with ink, use a pen or paper, uh, a pencil on a piece of paper like I'm doing. You can try to do just like drawing, doesn't matter. Do it yourself. No good? Then you do another one. Until you satisfy. Of course you are not guessing. You can use my homework. The handout. Now, this one's still no good. Then you do it again. Now this time, I do it a little bit here and here. Now, compared to one, two, three, four, five, six, I think this one proportionally the best, right? Why? Because I try to make this one is the body is not too wide, not too lengthy, reasonable width, and then the distance, the distance, distance, and the distance. If you put this two dot like this one, too close up here, it's already no good. That's how you structure. Because at different style, they have different way of structure or make the movement of the right, the stroke. However, they will not losing the three rules. You need to be standable by itself, it's not falling apart. You need to be, if any space, they try to make it equal. But we are not doing like a structure with a ruler to measure. Otherwise, it looks like printing. Okay? And left and right got to be even. You don't want to do something like this. On one end. Right? So that's why I keep recommend don't rush to use a brush. Use a pen on paper 
or a pencil on a piece of paper or the repeated uh, cloth the use of water to do it until you're happy until you say I like this one if you don't even know take my hand out compare that's the best I do the same thing sometimes I, I watching TV or I watching some kind of commercial suddenly some of the character they show up and I said oh I did not know they can do it this way then I already copied in my brain I get a piece of paper sometimes I I'm sitting on the in front of the TV I write on my leg I even went on the air my mom said are you practicing again Peter I said yes she said I'm crazy <laughs> so that's how 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 I practice I repeat the same sample Bruce Lee how come he become the master because when he eating lunch or dinner it's a true story that one hand he holding a piece of newspaper he grabbed it and he would get all the, the whole piece of paper into or in his hand and he open up by finger one by one to and then he do it again and then when he finished the passing to the right hand he do it again the practice his finger have more power they can grab you with, with one hand and then you cannot let go so why I say that that means he into it and he love it I cannot force people to love what you like what you're doing but if you love it from the bottom of your heart you always find a way how to practice like me I into it even though I watch the TV I sometimes I buy a bit uh, a bottle of uh, Japanese beer sometimes I like Japanese stuff because they have a lot of design very outstanding and I pick up that and I apply it to my calligraphy and that's how you make your own style it's not you try to create but you pick all the good things put together the same thing whatever I teach you today I give you the rules I give you the way I lead you how to think but how to do it good is on your own because you need to practice then you need when you practice you need to try to analyze try to remember I tell you the way so for example if you climb the, the mountain I give you all the rope the nail the good shoe all the tools I can give it to you but when you really physically climb the mountain yourself then you will know oh the stone here some of the area you don't have enough space so how you use the tool to apply to the, uh, the time that you need to use it this is all the tool I teach you I show you I cannot teach you how to do the old stuff old stuff but this is something that I gained the experience I want you to follow and this is something that I can teach and share with you this is a rule you a lot sometimes why you cannot do it because you come down without talk about the long stroke horizon you press you did not press upward you press downward then you get a big chunky in here so if you press upward you only have a big heavy chunky piece in here and that's how you need to know where to go and the, the dome basically if you from this point this point and this point they almost horizontal and make it curve is the bottom because you have heavy down here light up here heavy down here right the same thing with this dot like I, I always say because this dot basically if you go to the higher point they almost similar al almost almost yeah but the only no the bottom sorry the bottom the bottom if the bottom here is on the horizon touching the, the horizon but only here because you have the curve here missing the center center spot that will make it like a curve if you purposely do it this way you know good right <laughs> okay so this is how I see the weak point from everyone from homework now today I'm going to share with you some of the uh, interesting information that I share at my past uh, last week's simil, uh, seminar which is a uh, Bruce and Rosanna and uh, uh, Alice did come and that 
seminar with all the support. It was very, very interesting and very successful, I can say that. Now, today the information I would like to share and then with you is, as I mentioned, we are going to do some calligraphy for poetry in pairs. That means, doi luin, doi ni. This is for Chinese New Year. Now is a good time for everyone to practice so you can do your own chun, uh, chun lian fang jia jia mian. You can put your own poetry in pair for the Chinese New Year and celebrate. I love the Chinese New Year that they always give you a very positive and very greeting kind of uh, meaning. Personally, I don't believe that is something of mi xin, my son. I don't know how to say that mi xin in English. Anyone who can translate that? Alice? Huh? Superstitious? Yeah, something like that. A lot of people, uh, more than people, they say, hey, I don't believe all that good breathing make my life good. So you wish me be a rich man, am I going to be rich tomorrow? No. So that's why some modern people, they will say, I don't like that feeling. But I look at the other way around, because I like positive mental attitude, PMA. All the positive information in fit our brain. You feel positive. So psychology, we call garbage in, garbage out. So you choose the right person, you choose the positive thing to put yourself, you make yourself happy and positive. So the Chinese greeting for the new year, I think that's the, the same idea. They give you the good positive thinking for the beginning of the year. So you have more energy, more motivation to do things for the rest of the year, to make it good, to move forward. So that's why it's so important for us to write all the good things on the poetry in pair. So I will try to pick, I got a book today, I will try to pick some of the characters which is suitable for one, every one of you, that for Chinese, and then I give one pair for each of you next week. Then I will teach you how to do it. You're going to write a character about this big. It's not the small about this big, okay? And probably four or five characters on one side. And then with the good meaning. And then after that, you need to put the seal and put the name who writing it. So the rule is, the basic three information you need to have. The time that you write this poetry, where the location you write, and then with your name. That's the basic. Unless, for example, Bruce said, Peter, can you do one for me as a gift? I say, fine, then I will do that. Then I will write down as request by Bruce. I do this for Bruce. And then here I will put the day, the year, the location, and who doing it. So you have the, like for example, you send a letter to someone, you have to have the person recipient. So the recipient is Bruce. And who the sender? Me. So you have to, then you have to have the time, the day. Sometimes you don't put the day, but at least the year and the month and the location. Make sure you put your name. If someone, they saw your character, you're doing a good job, they want to put their own name, they say, I do it. So make sure you put your own name. If you have a seal, you seal it. So the seal is who that is official done by you, no one else. So whoever have a personal seal, that's great. If not, I would recommend you to get one for your own. The seal, you can put only your last name plus your first or middle name. Or you can put one seal with last name, middle name, and first name all together in one small seal. So Alex and uh, Rosanna or Bruce learn about the seal because Alex is the expert. He talked about that and he gave a very good information for everyone. So I recommend when you're done all this, then I will recommend one of the masters seal for you. Alan cannot do it because he going to leave Toronto in December and he won't come back until the end of February. But I have another guy who's doing a very good job but very economic too. So that will be better because Alan is not good but he's better. 
But for, for the demon, I don't want everyone to spend a lot of money on that. At least you have your own thing. Okay? So now, after that, I will ask everyone to do their homework in class. So the one that I hand out today, I hope everyone to do it. But I am going to do some practice on the, the board, let you know how to do this, and then you do it on your paper. Then I can walk around to see it, to correct, and then you bring home to do it. And then next week, I now will talk about the new poetry. Now, today, we have some of this character or the basic stroke that we already learned in the past, but we just put together. First of all, the one with, uh, in English we call people. There are two different ways of writing the character people. If you're writing people, stands by itself a single character, you can write it this way. Okay, that means people. If you want to combine it with another character, become another meaning. So you can write, you need to write it this way. So this stroke, the vertical one, itself diagonal, and become vertical. Okay, so when you see this stroke, that means the people or person. And as you have learned, I also mentioned and talked in the class, you have many different ways of doing this. You can do it this way, slowly come down, press up, and lift up the brush, and then go like almost like a triangle, up, and then come down this way that I do on your homework, okay? And then you have another way of doing it too. You can do it this way. <coughs> also, it's nothing wrong with that. It's just a different style. But right now I don't want to confuse you. I just give you information. So whatever that I have and the homework, just follow that. Slowly, I will give you a different style. Then when you're writing a whole piece of literature, you have four or five same side people, then you know how to make it different. This is from the aesthetic point of view. You need to make it different. You don't want to make it like machine, mechanical. So another one that we will talk about is the knight. The character of knight. Now, stand by itself, this is the knife. Now, I did it wrong, it's not good. Why? I have too much of space here, and too little space. So I want you to know, I did something wrong too. So if you want to do it more from an aesthetic point of view, you need to make sure that they are. Now, this one, better, right? More space and equal. That's the side trap. I want everyone to know. If I don't pay attention, I just do it, I will not do the same thing. Okay. Now, because sick by itself, it call the knight. But if it combined with another, it also have a different way of writing. A short vertical, and then L-shape up here, and then a hook. It's the same. Or you can have write in a different way. You can do it this way also. It's nothing wrong with the same meaning. Okay. 
okay? So they all the same. But I don't want, again, I don't want to confuse you. I only give this style and this style. And when we can use this, and when we can use this, but sometimes we cannot use this at all. We have to follow this. One of them is good. Now, I'll give example. For the beginning, the word beginning or start, they have what? It's on your handout today. This one I believe I mentioned last time as well, but it's not as detailed as today. Now, this one is two dot, it's not one, okay? I believe last time we talked about this, if two dot mean the clothing. Now, this character, you have to do it the night this way. You have no other way. You cannot do it this way. People will not understand, even though it's nothing wrong with that. Now, for the swap, It's also in your hand up. This one I have more information to share. You can do it this way. With a short dot here. But you don't even need the short dot, still okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And you can use this one as well which is in the handout. So I don't want to confuse, I just give you information, whatever I talk here, but just follow whatever I put on your homework on handout, just follow that to do. And then I will slowly in the future to give you more information when to use that and how to do it. For example, if you have two character on the same sentence, you, you need to do one like this, one like this, and one with all the dot like this. You will have three from the aesthetic point of view. Okay? For the, the word people, I did not talk about people yet. I want everyone to, to learn all that before you practice on it. Now, oh, one thing I want to talk more on this side before I go here. Like for the swall here, you see the four dot. You can do it this way. However, originally it's supposed to be doing the the two people. It's not the four dot, but in certain style. Now you can you it's supposed to be like that. Two people, right? But you can do it this way. Nothing wrong is correct. Two. In most of the uh, book, they're doing this way. Okay? But for the hand printing, different. Hand printing, then you do it this way. Okay? Now, on this side, very important. You need to know the center line. See? So, when you, on this side, here the center line for the whole character. And this is the center line for each side of the character. If you don't know this, if you can not picture, you will not get this character right and balance. So you need to make sure that two little mouth got to be occupied on the center of each side, on the left hand side. Like I said, one character, they always have three vertical center lines. One for the left, one for the right. So when you do this, you need to know where to go the people. And this short stroke in the middle. Now, it's important. Normally on the left hand side, a bit smaller 
than the right hand side. That's the rules. And then the two point, you see the two point, I also let this stand in the middle of this. Then you go to this side. You see, without joining the center line, when I do it, I already have everything. So now when I do the center line, you can see it right away, equal. This equal, this equal. From practice, from practice. Okay? Okay, now talk about the, the work, the character of people. This is the people by itself. But if you combine with someone, and you're different, you have to make sure that this one, I do it later. Now, you go it this way. This one is go in Chinese called go. Now, the center. Similar space. The tough part is how can you make this spread out evenly with the same angle through practice. So if you do it this way, not good then you cannot stand in here you don't have enough room right so when you do it your brain needs to know how why you want to spread the person the people because this is like a, a home a, a shelter cover something and so you need to have enough room for the person who under the shelter now you can see the space here the space here is equal but the space here is not equal why you need to have some space for these two dots to stand inside if you make it all same space then it's so cloud and so squeeze no good however another one the similar one is not called gold they call together Now this one, because you don't have the two dots, you try to make it even. So that's how you structure the, the character to make it look good. Again, okay. it's everything like doing an interior design or structure of your own home. If you don't do that, then you will not balance. Now, I'm talking about this, uh, one, a couple more. I exaggerate, okay, exaggerate. Now again, this is, this is, all this character is very good for you to practice the center. You see, this is center, space, space, the space, the space. Okay, so use the brain before you do it. You look at the paper. You know where, how, to, how to do it before you do it. All right, now another one, this one is a bit different. Let me together you see here and here and here you will see the bottom a bit bigger that's acceptable because the bottom as a base if the bottom is so small the mouth here is too small Oops, forget it. I do it right I do it like the mouth is too small I try to make it sim similar, then it's not good. It cannot hold. The base is not strong enough. But at least you know the proportionate, they are very similar. This space, 
the whole area, almost same area here, then it balance. Okay, this is all talking about structural balance, leverage, equal. Right, you can see, right? So that's how the difference. Now, and a, a few other, that the left-hand side, the person is lengthy, but the right-hand side is short. And I mentioned that before. When you have the left-hand side lengthy and the right-hand side is strong, uh, short, then you need to make sure the right-hand side, the short guy, to uh, stay in the middle. Right? Only two stroke and you need to make it in the middle. Like here and here, similar space. You don't want the these two to ball on the bottom or on the top. Okay? Now, one very important is the, the last name of a person. Now, this one is a bit different that I need to spend a bit more time to talk about. Now, I try to draw a center line for everyone first. Now you can see this one. On the left hand side, very skinny. The right hand side, big fat guy. So what you can do, you in your mind, you try to spread this one in three sections. Then the character itself becomes balanced. You cannot just do this end Like this is the center line, okay? Go this way. You cannot do it this way. Because I said half on this side, half on this side. You cannot do it this way. Because this guy's skinny and this guy's too big, the room is too small for this guy. So he needs to occupy and borrow some space. So you need to move it a little bit here and move this over here. Then it will become harmonize make sense yeah the same idea because some of the character they have three sections for example I'm talking about sumo the shu so each of this this is the three section like I mentioned here Three section. Here they have their own center, own center. Here's the own center. So you want to use the same theory to apply for this one, because the left hand side is so skinny, the right hand side is too big. You need to borrow, get rid some room. Otherwise, it won't look good. Will not look good. Okay. So this one, this person. It's very tough. It seems like uh, it's a challenge. That also for me in the beginning. Now I try to write uh, uh, outline the shape first. The shape is almost like a triangle. Okay, almost like a triangle. Am I right? This is a top part. What you need to do is you start from the top down here. The same, similar to I talking about the uh, the second head, and then you need to press all the way up very heavy, and then lift up the pen. Come back to the center, press down, and then 
slowly lift up your brush when you move and then return now I do it slowly I come down but the angle is not right okay then we knee down here I come down and then I press up you see I up all the way I don't have to you don't have to worry and then when I press down you see I already have the shape right when I press down press up then I lift up the brush and I move upward to a diagonal and then I come back down you see already got it and then here mess up don't worry because you need to put a, a vertical when you put a vertical down here it will cover by itself okay let's do it one more time here I come down and then I move up upward and I press down heavy I press down very heavy upward that way and I lift up my brush and I move to the center and I go I move and then I lift up my brush if I need to turn twist I twist it a little bit doesn't matter you see I already got it and then all you need to do when you come back return and you come to the center here here all the darken a lot of uh, ink you can do whatever inside the dark ink nothing wrong with that because people won't see it and then you find the right spot you come down come down that's it that you have to you don't have to worry doing something wrong light lift up very heavy press down as hard as you can and then lift up come to the center move move up and then see a mess up here don't worry it won't mess up because you need to use that to come down okay now uh, one of the character that I have I don't know how to say that in English someone help me fairy no fairy tale no <laughs> heart some this or, or you can say the god or the angel something like that similar okay so this word very very tough why because you have uh this one this end of the uh the person right now this end is the the mountain that the mountain design is very tough because the mountain if you know the shape by itself is like a di uh, like a triangle see down here down here is that a triangle right a triangle so you need to put the triangle here So in your mind, you need to have a triangle here first. Then all you need to do is push down the center. And you will look good. Otherwise, you will not see. Okay? And it's got to be a little bit space here. So the word is look balanced. Because this girl is tall but this guy too short so that's why see here all I need to do I, I did I don't go here I go far here and then I go this way and you look good see it's an angle all right so any one of you doing the scratch sketch on a, a person 
you always need to do the, the head, the round head, okay, and draw a, a cross for your eye and the nose. So this is very similar. Look at me, don't, don't laugh at me. <laughs> okay, so that's how it goes, how it look like, how you structure, okay? I have to watch my uh, posture, everything all together, okay? So do it right. I do it from left to right today, just because I don't want, I don't want to put any paper, I'm lazy, that's all. Now I'm doing this one. This one, you come down slowly, light, come down this way, and then press down heavy, okay? Then lift up, go and then come down. Okay? Now, the person on this side, a lot of character, you have to start in the, the center, but this one is exception. If you put it right in the center, stuck in the center, the character itself doesn't look good as from the aesthetic point of view. So normally, I like to start a bit to the left and the middle of the top half. So I go like this way, press down, lift up the brush, and then I go slowly lift up, not much. Okay, and then I start, I always using Darkest part and very thick one. I can start here. Now I press down very hard and then move down. Slowly lift up and then I press down again. And then I twist. Come back. This is very important because you can control your hand how, how hard, how light you want to lift. Otherwise you won't. You see this way I have simple. The character, it look good, it's not, if you do it in the middle like this. You cannot go all the way, but this one you need to long enough. Right? So that's why you need to move a little bit. Now the knife. The knife is similar to the the silken hat. So I do it, move up, and then I lift up the brush, and then come to the center, and I press down, lift up, come back down here. Now, in the middle, make sure that proportionally right. You see, I press, I push, I push, I don't pull. When you push like that, you will see later on the center, they have a mark, the track. That's how they go. Because you see, when you have center, the tip of the hair in the center, and that is the pressure, the supporting point. You see, you can you can push down hard. But this way, if you press down, it go down. You have no support. The supporting point is the hair in the center, then you go push this way. You see, my hand is push, push, push. You can see the center, they have a trap go down. Okay, now. Again, slowly come down. Push up, go. Come back up. Normally, I like to do a little bit different from a static point of view. The right, left hand side a bit thicker, and left hand side, a right hand side a bit thinner, but also a bit taller, so that way they look different. See, I press, come down and press up, I lift up my brush, and then I 
look at the direction where I want to go before. You can do that. Nothing wrong with that. Twist, 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 come back. Sander. Come back. Ground up. Again, this one is different. I don't go too far away. You see, because this guy is so skinny, this is bulky, so I'm using, like I explained up here, I'm using feather into three seconds. So that's the balance, okay? The same, same like this. But this one, I don't do that so far away here. So but that's why I back up a little. You have to think, when you're doing it, you have to think before you continue. Now, because the top is a short vertical, so you have to make sure that you have space for the second one to go. If you go this one too far over here, then you have no room. Come down, press up. Okay, now. Lift up, twist. Now, I press down too hard, too hard. You, I can see this too. The same like you guys. I did it wrong, it's not as good as this one. I press, we got did not press high enough. You got to have five bucks, then do that little bit also go go. Just your model will do so, you go on play you. Okay? And you, you press, press up high enough. Press up here, but when I press my for the belly, the back of the brush, also too heavy, touching it. So that's why I got it. You need to go like, like that, and then you turn, you have no problem. You see? But if I go up, I press down, now. I have this. this. You need to practice. Now, this one is hard one with the triangle. So this one, I leave it like down, up, lift up, go, come down here. Right? Triangle. In your mind, you think of triangle. So when I think of the triangle, I start here. Not too high. The this side got to be short, not too high. No. Then I lift up, go up. See? Triangle. Then you look at this one. Come down here, lift up, go up, push down. <coughs> now I borrow some of the space here, that's why I close a bit more closer to the uh, left hand side. Lift up slowly, press down, twist it to push. Now I cover, when I return, I cover the empty here. The mouth here. This is one part, this second part. Section. Okay? Go, wu yao so ya. Center, see? When you press down, lift up, push, come back. Heavy and slowly lift up, come down. That's it. 
So this one, I leave a bit more space here. I don't come start here. I start a little bit lower. And then I have the mouse here. Okay. The goal. Press down, lift up, turn, push, return. Now this one, as I mentioned, because you have the two dot, so you want to make some space on the last stroke, the third stroke, a bit more room, but not too much. Okay, now. Press down, lift up. I'm gonna do this one, because this one is. Okay, anyway, I changed my mind. I still can do it some area. Now you can see in here, it's very round and smooth. And that's what you need to have in the inner, got to be round, always round. Okay, now I'm a little bit too short, so not supposed to be, but I, I just trick, no one see it. <laughs> I try to do the left hand side a bit longer then the left hand side, uh, right hand side, okay? Press down, lift up, come down. One, two, see, I try to make it even, so you don't have too, too big a difference. Now, you have a short dot here, here a bit long short, a long dot. You know why? Because here, short, oh. to oh. pull, Bound it, okay? And go up. Uh, can you move one, one more for that? Yeah, you will see it. Okay. No, here. And do it here. Up, down. Up, down. Turn, lift up. Okay. Now this is the store that I talk about. On this side is have their own center. This is the center line. So the two little mouth got to be sit on each side. Normally the left hand mouth a little bit more, slightly smaller. And then I do one short dot, second dot, and this one a bit long, 
só, ok? Now. Is there a special character for that that why is it longer than the, the other three? This one? Or this one? Yeah, yeah. No. Aesthetic. You want to make it look different. Nice. Oh, oh. This way, personally, I like it. I, I think it look better. Oh. Okay? I can do one for you that they only four thought. Oh. And you will see the difference. Good question. Because if you say, hey, how come a Peter have to do that? And you can at home. You do the same thing you want to lay out, see. Oh, it still looks as good. Ask the way how, how need to, uh, you need to think. You need to uh, practice. Very important. Mm. But good question. I think this is a characteristic of this style. Yeah, yeah. But the same idea, same concept can apply to uh, the hand writing, the kai shu, the same thing, or um, the fast hand, fast pay hand writing, because everything they have their own different way of make it look good. A little bit underneath of this. And then which one I'm missing? Okay. You got a different. I don't want to confuse you guys. You'll be like that. I, I think I have one more something or no? That's about it. Okay. I write that too. Okay. I'll write that too. See? That's that's how the sum made up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Me. You don't like me? Uh, no. See, this one. See, this is the way doing it here. That's why sometimes when you're doing the character, if you have one so long, one so short to make it extreme, but they balance, that's called aesthetic. This one is the same thing, idea. They look very short, but actually one end is very, one side is very big and lengthy. See, difference. All right, all done.